Section 4.6, Solution Stoichiometry and Chemical Analysis. So if we have gone through the periodic table to turn grams into moles, and then gone through the balanced equation to turn moles of one substance into another substance, and then gone back to the periodic table to turn that moles into grams, you can do the same thing using molarity. If you're given the concentration of something, then you can go to moles easily because it's moles over liters. Once you're in moles, you can go through the, bal uh, through the balanced equation to get moles of whatever else you're interested in. And if it's a solid, you go through the periodic table and get grams. Or if it's another liquid, you could go through, uh, find out how much stuff, how much uh, volume you have and get the new molarity. So, so it's, so let's try an example. How many moles of hydrochloric acid are needed to neutralize 25 milliliters of three molar sodium hydroxide solution? Well, I need a balanced equation always so that I can know moles to moles. So I know that neutralize, a neutralization reaction is hydrochloric acid plus sodium hydroxide. So that's an acid plus a base yields a water plus a salt. Okay, so HOH will make water and NaCl will be our salt here. Okay, so now I have to balance. I've got two hydrogens, two hydrogens, one sodium, one sodium, one chlorine, one chlorine. So it's a one to one to one to one relationship. So how many moles of HCl are needed to neutralize 25 mils of three molar hydro, uh, sodium hydroxide solution? Well, what's my moles? I wanna know how many moles of sodium hydroxide. So I know that molarity is moles of solute over liters of solution. And moles of solute is what I'm trying to find. And I have liters of solution. I have 25 milliliters. So as liters, I divide by, by 1,000, 0 0.025 liters. And my molarity is 3 molar. Okay. So 3 molar equals moles over 0.25 liters. Okay, so molarity is moles over liters. So if I get rid of the 0.025 by multiplying, I cancel liters and I ended up with I end up with moles and I have three moles times 0.025. So I have 0 0.075 moles. All right, so if I have this is how many moles of sodium of sodium hydroxide I have. Well, it's what's the relationship? The relationship is 1 to 1. So for every mole for every mole of sodium hydroxide, I need 1 mole of hydrochloric acid to to uh, neutralize it. That means 1 is to 1 as 0 0.075 is to what? So I'm going to do the same. It'll be 0 0.075 moles of hydrochloric acid. Now how many grams is that? All right, in one mole, I have to go through the periodic table, and I have to add it together. So when I added it up, it's 36.46094 grams per mole. Moles will cancel, divide or multiply those together, and I have 2.7345705 grams, and it looks like I've got one significant digit, so it will be three grams. I need three grams of hydrochloric acid, and so even though that looks scary, it's very, very doable. You simply take all the steps that you've learned one at a time and keep expanding until you can do more and more and more.
This is stoichiometry. You use titration whenever you're trying to find the concentration of something unknown. Let's imagine I've got a big jar and all of it says is hydrochloric acid and I don't know what its concentration is. That means I can't ever use it unless if I don't know the concentration, it's useless to me because I need the concentration in order to go through the periodic table and know what I've got and what I'm getting. So the way you figure out what a concentration is for something you don't know is by titration. Let's say that I know that I need for every one mole of NaOH that I have, I'm going to need one mole of hydrochloric acid, just like the last example. Well, if that's true, and I use, in order to make it go completely neutralized, right, so let's say I have something with lots of acid in it. I've got some acid in a jar, or in a, in a, in, on the bottom, You've got, I've got some acid here. So the picture says I've got 20 mils of an acid solution. Okay, I put it, on the, put it in the jar. I add a couple drops of an indicator, which is an organic dye that will change color whenever, the, whenever it is neutralized, when it's the same pH as water, it will change color. All right, so if I take acid and base together, it turns into water plus a salt. So as soon as all of my acid is used up, then my, my pH goes up to 7, and it, at, right at 7, as soon as it changes, I know that I've used exactly the same amount of acid and base because I have a one-to-one -one relationship here. For every mole of acid I've got, I need one mole of base to, to neutralize it. So if I know it's a one-to-one, -one, and I know the molarity equals moles over liters of base, and I and I'm trying and I have I don't know the molarity, but I know the um, I know the amount that I'm going to get. Then I figure out the moles of base that I use, and it has to be the same. This mole has to be the same as this one. And then whatever that number of moles divided by the amount of liters will give me my new molarity. So a standard solution is something that you know. You know the concentration of it, and you measure out a certain volume of it. So I know the volume and the molarity. And then I know the volume of the stuff I don't know the concentration to. And whenever you reach an equivalence point, the same amount of moles are equal to the same amount of moles. Then you'll be able to, to determine what the new stuff is. So let's try one. I've got sodium hydroxide in a burette. It's a little skinny tube that, that, that's hovering above uh, a flask. In the jar, I've got 20 milliliters of an acid that I don't know. I don't know its concentration. And I want to find its concentration. All right, so what I do is I put a drop of indicator so that when it's totally neutral, when it's exactly neutral, then uh, it turns color. It changes color exactly at, at when it's exactly seven. So I start pouring little tiny bits of the sodium hydroxide into the bottom, and eventually I get a color change, and then I stop. I have to be really, really careful, so I stop at that very second. That one little part of a drop, I change, it color changes, and I stop. So then I record how much, so how much did I use? Okay, let's make it up. Let's say that I used nine milliliters. All right, I used nine milliliters to, to uh, neutralize it. All right, well, how many moles did I use? I've got the molarity as 0.01. This is the sodium hydroxide. Molarity is 01. I don't know the moles, but I do know that it's nine milliliters. So nine milliliters divide by a thousand, it's 0 0.009 liters. Okay, and this is 0 0.1 molarity. So solve for moles. Well, I, I move the liters and I get 0 0.1 times 0 0.009 equals. Okay, and I get 0 0.0009 moles. 
okay, and that's moles of NaOH. That's how many moles I used. So I go back to the periodic, or I go back to the balanced equation, and I say, well, what is the re relationship? What's the ratio? They're both ones because I balanced this equation. So it's one mole to one mole. All right, so if it's a one to one, then one mole of, of hydrochloric acid is to one mole of sodium hydroxide as what moles of hydrochloric acid is to 0 0.0009 moles of, of sodium hydroxide. Well, it's going to be the same, isn't it? It'll be 0 0.0009. So I know that it's 0 0.0009 moles of HCl that I need. And I get the molarity by putting moles over the volume. So my molarity is going to be 0 0.0009 moles over 20 milliliters. Okay, so I need to divide by 1,000, so it's 0 0.02 liters. So 0 0.0009 divided by 0 0.02 liters gives you a molarity of 0.045 molar. So I use titration to find a molarity or concentration of an unknown, an acid that I don't know. And because I'm titrating an acid with a base and I know what the, what the reaction should be, and so that I'm able to, to use the balanced equation to be able to find the concentration. Pretty useful, really.